All right, so BSG just wrapped up their dev podcast. They talked about a ton of stuff, mostly the upcoming patch and arena. So I'm just gonna break down everything that you need to know from that podcast as quickly as I can. Let's get into it. So they started the podcast talking about that the two big things they're working on right now is arena and the new year's patch. He specifically said new year's patch. So that leads me to believe that's going to be late, late December. Uh, he talked a little bit about some of the tech patches that they've been doing recently, about how they're already working on the new matchmaking system that's supposed to help us get into raids quicker. He said in certain parts of the world, it's already implemented. So I guess that's regionally, but they're going to continue to roll that out. Uh, they're working on a brand new launcher. The new launcher will include Arena, obviously, and Tarkov. So they're going to work on, I guess, new packaging for that. That will include both games. The Unity update. This is something that people have been wanting to know about, and it's actually really fascinating. They were almost ready to push out Unity 2021. They ran into some bugs. That was supposed to happen in like the spring. They decided it's better to skip Unity 2021 and move to Unity 2023, uh, which is seems like could long term be a better decision, but we'll see. So they've pushed the Unity upgrade. It's going to be in 2024 and they're going to leapfrog Unity 2021 and go to Unity 2023. It's a little confusing, but that's what they're going to do. They talked a little bit about ground zero which is the new map that's coming that's uh in the center of streets of tarkov where everybody's going to start when they start on a fresh wipe or a fresh character and this is going to be level locked to somewhere between level 15 and 20 they're not sure where they're going to put it yet and below so only low level pmcs are going to be able to go here it's not going to be as high tier loot but it's going to be a great place to kind of like figure it out learn and not be you know stomped by level 60s or 70s if you're starting later in the wipe this is great. He did say player scavs will be able to go there no matter what your level is. So be on the lookout for player scavs, but that is coming with the New Year's patch. They played a few matches of Arena and we got to pick up on a few little uh, extra bits of information. Some of the UI has changed. They There's a spot for spectators. So you can actually just join and spectate matches, which is pretty cool. Some of the new UI on being able to move your gear around before you go into a match is cool. They added radios for this build. Previously, they didn't have any way to communicate with your teammate other than like Discord, but they added some radios. They're just polishing. Uh, arena right now arena is still set to release early december the first few weeks and they're going to be rolling it out in waves they're going to be inviting small sections of the community kind of in waves and uh they said it's going to be based on how long you've had tarkov like how early you purchase eod or how early you're pur purchased arena and if you have a copy of arena make sure to go to arena.tarkov.com and log in that like i guess activates your account and makes you eligible to get invited We'll see how that goes. He said they're going to try and get the waves out as fast as possible to get everybody in as quick as possible, but they're trying to avoid basically the servers just melting down. Now, most of the podcast was about the new year patch. What's coming in the new year patch? Obviously, that ground zero map is coming. Uh, they're ch making some changes to Streets of Tarkov. They're not doing the full next expansion, but they're making some changes. They're opening up some more uh, interiors of buildings and indoor locations. They are adding the BTR, which is like a transport vehicle that drives around the map. You're going to be able to hire it to transport you to a different section of the map. You're going to be able to hire it to provide cover fire for you, and you're going to be able to hire it to extract loot. He didn't go into much detail here, but that could be insane being able to, if you got out of a fight, your armor's okay, you have plenty of ammo, you can extract some of your loot and stay in the raid. I think that's great. There's going to be a new boss. I think his name is Kolontai. He just said he didn't know how to translate that, but a new boss. They're also going to be making a big shoreline update. A lot of people were asking what that means, and they didn't give any information. So a shoreline update. We're not sure what that means. Vaulting. They showed a new video of the vaulting, and it looks really, really clean. Super quick animation. Not something that's going to get you tripped up. Uh, and they showed a lot of different places where it's actually going to be really valuable. So vaulting looks really good. They went back through the new armor hitboxes. This is something that we still, you know, have a lot of questions about, but they showed how some of the armors have uh, armor plates that you cannot replace, like soft armor, and then the hard armor plates you will be able to swap in and out. Uh, they're adding new hitboxes, like on helmets, for example, there's going to be a front armor plate and a back armor plate. They said that they're working on new damage propagation and stuff like that. So still lots of questions, but they gave us a little bit more information on that. We got to see a video. They are... Finishing up the work on the completely reworked recoil system. He said this is going to go to the ETS, which is a good thing so people can get their hands on it and actually give some feedback beforehand. They're going to try and make it a little bit more realistic. They showed a video where they were showing off left shoulder shooting, blind fire, and recoil. So I'll loop this video a few times because it's kind of hard to figure out what you're looking at. But 
they are going to show us the new recoil. They're going to try to get it in in the New Year's patch, but they're not sure. It depends on the feedback from the ETS. Like we said, left shoulder shooting. This isn't going to be a full transition to your left shoulder where you swap your grip, but more of just a quick, you kind of keep your hands exactly where they are and you just swap over to your left shoulder, which I think looks pretty clean. Uh, reworked blind fire to make it more usable. They showed off some of their achievements. So um, all sorts of different achievements will be added to the game and you'll be able to collect them and your profile will be able to show the achievements that you've completed. They've said before that potentially the prestige system will be in the achievement update. They didn't talk about that, but they've said that in the past. Uh, and they said that achievements won't reset, but they will add more achievements every wipe. So that'll be cool if you participate in certain events or if you're here at a certain wipe, you'll get an achievement uh, and they don't reset, which I think is cool. Uh, they're also adding the magazine loading preset system where you can just set up your magazines however you want them and then, you know, do that super quickly. Lightkeeper services. If you have high enough reputation with Lightkeeper, you're going to be able to hire him to do things. The three things that they told us was call in Zarachi for support, have a temporary truce with the cultists, and have the rogues support you. That is going to be super interesting to see how that affects a map. You know, if you're on customs, can I call in rogues to support me? Does that spawn rogues on customs? That could, you know, greatly change how, how raids play out. So that'll be fascinating. Of course, we're getting some new guns. Uh, the 9x39 SMG, I forget what it's called, the RPD. We're going to get the Sig Spear, and he said an updated SKS. We're going to get some new clothing. We're going to get some new gear, of course. They're adding more quests to the game, and they're going to be rebalancing the quests that we have. Uh, a few of the things that they talked about that aren't coming right away on rpg is going to be added eventually bipods and i think mounting was along with that is going to be coming later i don't know if that's later in patch point 14 or in a future patch uh they're working on new voice lines for bosses they're not sure when those are going to be in he did spend a little bit of time talking about the anti-cheat that they banned over 10,000 cheaters and rm tiers between october and november they said that in patch point 14 they're working on a very specific vulnerability that they know a lot of the cheat developers use so hopefully closing that up will be a good thing. Uh, and they have a part of the team that works specifically and exclusively on the anti-cheat. Take that how you will. That's just what he said. Twitch Rivals is coming up this week, uh, which is pretty cool. And they did talk about how Edge of Darkness will be removed for purchase. If you have Edge of Darkness, you will not lose it. You're not going to lose your Gamma Container or your Stash, but you will not be able to purchase EOD after a specific point. Uh, and I think that's later in December. So if you're thinking about upgrading, you have about a month to do so, and then you're not going to be able to upgrade to EOD anymore. That's it. That's what they talked about. Uh, I hope you're excited for some of the stuff. We're being able to see a little bit about what they're working on, and uh, hopefully we'll get our hands on Arena pretty soon. Thank you so much for hanging. If you like this video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. You can come by and watch me stream either here on YouTube or over on Twitch six days a week. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord is an awesome place to be. That is linked down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by, and I will definitely see you on the next one.